In this video, we're going to talk about the 20 best dividend stocks you can buy and hold forever. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's get started. Finding a company with a long track record of consistent dividend payments is only part of the winning formula for investing in dividend stocks. You're not alone if you've recently peeked into your investment accounts and shuddered at the results. Wall Street has had a terrible year, and nearly all investors are suffering as a result. It's important to remember that paper declines are different from actual losses that are recorded when a sale is made. If you're patient, many of the same stocks that are currently heavily in the red may recover and eventually even turn a profit. Of course, not every stock is worthwhile to hold on to. However, the following reliable dividend payers serve as excellent illustrations of the kind of investments you can trust in for a very long time. Finding an organization with a long track record of dependable dividend payments is the key to investing in dividend stocks. Growth in dividends is also crucial. Rising dividends reward existing investors with steadily rising yields on the shares they previously purchased at lower prices, as well as making a stock more appealing to new income investors. Our list of dividend stocks, which is dominated by well-known names, is a good place to look to find high-quality companies for your long-term investment portfolio. Here are the 20 best dividend stocks that you can buy and hold forever. Number 20. 3M Company, Ticker, MMM. 3M commands a brand portfolio of more than 6,000 patented products across a diverse array of industries. From consumer offerings like post-it notes, scotch tape and command wall hanging strips to specialty coatings and chemicals for industrial applications, there's a wide variety of revenue streams feeding into this $70 billion company. That makes for incredibly reliable operations, including more than 60 years of consecutive dividend increases. 3 million shares have been volatile in the near term. The yield is more than three times that of the typical S&P 500 component, which is ample incentive to buy and hold this blue-chip stock for the long run. 3M Company's dividend yield is 5.3%. Number 19. AT&T Incorporated, ticker, T. After the spin-off of Warner Brothers Discovery Incorporated earlier in 2022, telecom titan AT&T has gotten back to its core business of digital communications. And as the company charges forward, it has a number of tailwinds lifting the business, including strong additions to its wireless business, the lowest debt level in five years thanks to financial restructuring and a bargain valuation to boot. And let's not forget that AT&T is among the top 10 highest yielding stocks in the S&P 500 index right now, offering a tremendous stream of income and a big incentive to buy and hold this stock forever. AT&T's dividend yield is 7.1%. Number 18. Coca-Cola Company, ticker, KO. When it comes to brands with staying power, it's hard to think of a company more dominant and iconic than Coke. It's valued at more than $250 billion, making it one of the 25 largest publicly traded stocks in the US, with more than 120 years of successful operations. It's also one of the most generous dividend stocks out there when it comes to consistent increases in payouts, with more than 60 straight years where management has increased distributions. With an incredible portfolio of popular consumer staples, Coca-Cola stock has what it takes to thrive for many years to come. Coca-Cola Company's dividend yield is 3.0%. Number 17. Intel Corporation, ticker, INTC. Intel Corporation is an American multinational corporation and technology company headquartered in Santa Clara, California. It is the world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer by revenue. Supply chains continue to be a mess for Intel and its branded chips aren't quite as dominant as they were in the heyday of PCs. Intel has committed $100 billion globally on new facilities including $30 billion in onshore foundries to ease supply shortages and focus on strategic autonomy that reduces reliance on China. It all adds up to a great long-term foundation on top of a big dividend. Intel Core's dividend yield is 5.4%. Number 16. Home Depot Incorporated. Ticker, HD. While there is certainly a risk of ups and downs based on the short-term direction of the housing market, Home Depot is a stock with staying power. The company has raised its dividend for 12 straight years, with total payouts soaring from just 29 cents at the end of 2012 to an amazing $1.90 per share presently. It's the largest home improvement retailer in the US, with some 2,300 locations that are mainstays for both individual property owners and contractors alike. With a baseline for maintenance spending on things like plumbing, roofing and general repairs coupled with its unmatched scale, 
HD has what it takes to deliver long-term shareholder value regardless of real estate trends. Home Depot's dividend yield is 2.9%. Number 15. Johnson & Johnson, ticker, J&J. There are many ways that healthcare giant J&J is in a class by itself. It is one of the 10 largest stocks on Wall Street, and when you skip megacap tech stocks it is among the top three companies on U.S. exchanges outside the information technology sector. It's one of just two entities on Wall Street with a top AAA credit rating, with Microsoft Corporation being the other. And it has been in operation for roughly 140 years. If all that wasn't enough to make you believe in Johnson & Johnson over the very long term, consider that healthcare is widely seen as the most recession-proof sector as drugs and medical treatment are necessities no one will pass up regardless of price inflation or economic disruptions. All this sets the stage for many more years of success for J&J and its shareholders. Johnson & Johnson's dividend yield is 2.7%. Number 14. JP Morgan Chase & Company, ticker, JPM. Megabank JP Morgan stands at the front of the financial sector, above even other mammoth U.S. banks like Citigroup, Wells Fargo & Company and Bank of America Corporation. That's in part because these peers have struggled over the last decade or so since the financial crisis, while JPM powered past prior highs. It also pays even more generous dividends in 2022, while competitors are still behind what they were paying out back in 2007. JPM is the largest U.S. bank by assets, commanding about $3 trillion, and with a legacy of success that traces back to 1799. JPM is definitely the kind of stock you want to buy and hold forever, because if there's a world where this megabank isn't around then we all have much bigger problems than underperforming with our portfolio. JP Morgan Chase & Company's dividend yield is 3.8%. Number 13. Kraft Heinz Company, ticker, KHC. The powerful consumer brands of Kraft Heinz ensure that however tough things get, revenue will remain fairly constant as families continue to stock up on offerings like Philadelphia cream cheese, Maxwell House coffee and its iconic Heinz ketchup. Furthermore, in tough times consumers tend to cut back on restaurant visits and make dinner at home creating a countercyclical boost for KHC in lean times. And as an added vote of confidence, Warren Buffett's investment company Berkshire Hathaway owns at least 26% of the company right now, meaning there's a lot of reason to have faith that Kraft Heinz has strong long-term institutional interest to keep it stable, instead of churning on fair-weather investments from day traders. Kraft Heinz company's dividend yield is 4.7%. Number 12. Ventas Incorporated, ticker, VTR. Ventas Incorporated is a real estate investment trust, also known as a REIT. It specializes in the ownership and management of health care facilities in the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom. While not as recognizable as the prior stocks on this list, Ventas is a $20 billion real estate company that is worth considering for any long-term portfolio. That's because VTR is focused on healthcare properties such as doctor offices, hospitals, or senior living communities across a massive portfolio of more than 1,200 properties. Unlike other real estate firms that invest in mortgages or volatile commercial real estate, Ventus tenants are recession-proof medical providers that have long-term leases and stable outlooks. The company recently acquired senior housing firm New Senior Investment Group to further fuel its future growth, and investors can have confidence this specialized property player will be around for the long haul. Ventas dividend yield is currently 4.3%. Number 11. International Business Machines, ticker, IBM. In recent years, it hasn't been easy for international business machines to deliver a positive message to shareholders. Although IBM shares are holding their own in 2022, up almost 5% over the past six months compared to a 20.4% decline for the S&P 500 for the most part, it's been a downward slide since hitting $200 in 2013. It got so bad that even Warren Buffett, arguably the world's most patient investor, walked out on IBM in 2017. IBM's current strategy is to be a leader in the hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence. In its Q1 2022 earnings, it reported healthy double-digit sales increases, including a 17% increase in hybrid cloud revenue. Based on a market cap of $123.3 billion, IBM's current dividend yield is 4.8%. Number 10. Cisco, ticker, SYY. If you're looking for a dividend stock hanging in there in 2022, Cisco Foods should be on your list. Its annualized total return year to date is 3%, about 20 percentage points better than the entire U.S. market. 
The food distributor is one of the world's largest, serving over 650,000 customer locations worldwide from 343 distribution facilities. In its latest quarter ended April 2022, Cisco's sales grew 42.9% over Q3 2021 and 15.3% higher than Q3 2020. The company continues to take market share in both the US and internationally. When you invest in a business like Cisco, you have to have the mindset that a little from a lot adds up to substantial profits. Its operating margin through the first nine months of 2022 was 3.5%. Cisco's dividend yield is 2.5%. Number 9. Procter & Gamble, ticker, PG. Procter & Gamble is the firm behind some of the biggest consumer names on the planet, from Gillette shaving products to Pampers diapers and Crest toothpaste. Chances are you likely have a medicine cabinet or dresser drawer featuring P&G products, and chances are that the next time you go to the store you're going to keep buying the same tried and true brands. Procter & Gamble has increased its dividends at least once a year for roughly 65 years and has been in operation for just shy of two centuries. It's not a glamorous or high-growth business to peddle consumer staples, but it certainly is reliable for investors who are taking a very long view of their portfolios. Procter & Gamble's dividend yield is 2.5%. Number 8. Verizon, ticker, VZ. Verizon is perhaps as close to a sure thing as you'll be able to find on Wall Street these days. The company boasts a massive scale with more than $130 billion in annual revenue for millions of wireless, broadband, fiber optic and cable TV connections. It has a near duopoly in the US with fellow telecom giant AT&T and a high barrier to entry from any future competition, thanks to the very expensive and regulated nature of building a telecom network. And to top it all off, VZ is only paying about half of its operating profits as dividends, so even without future growth, there is plenty of headroom for future increases. About the only reason to doubt that Verizon will be around forever is if you expect the entire global communication system to collapse. Verizon's dividend yield is 5%. Number 7. Cisco, ticker, CSCO. A $232 billion leader in enterprise computing. Cisco is a Silicon Valley icon that has established itself as one of the dominant forces in the tech sector. While it has had plenty of false starts over the years including some weird forays into consumer technology with products like its flip camcorder, Cisco has withstood the test of time as its business has grown and its dividend with it. Dividend payouts began in 2011 at $0.06 cents quarterly per share, and have increased dramatically over the last decade to $0.37 cents per share in 2021. The company has the wind at its back right now, setting a new 52-week high in September and looking up in the short term even as it boasts a business that is clearly built to last. Cisco's dividend yield is 2.7%. Number 6. McDonald's, ticker, MCD. An icon of the restaurant industry, McDonald's is also a case study of a company that knows how to drive long-term shareholder value. Its dividend has grown impressively over time with more than 40 years running of at least one dividend increase per year. The size of those increases is significant too, with a payout of 61 cents in 2011 growing to more than double that at $1.29 per quarter now. While there's certainly a focus on healthier eating, the cost-conscious and always convenient menu of McDonald's continues to connect with consumers. And with recent expansion into delivery and loyalty programs, you can expect this stock to continue its track record of success for the foreseeable future. McDonald's current dividend yield is 2.3%. Number 5. Pfizer Incorporated, ticker, PFE. Most recently making a name for itself in part because of its leading C19 vaccine, Pfizer is a healthcare powerhouse that has what it takes to remain relevant in any market environment. The pandemic is a great example of this drugmaker's innovative potential, and existing blockbusters including its Prevnar pneumonia vaccine, Ibrant's breast cancer drug and Eliquis blood thinner continue to power great long-term results. One thing that's certain in life is that we all grow old and get sick, so a company like Pfizer with a strong track record and impressive global scale is a great long-term bet for dividend investors who want to set it and forget it. Pfizer's dividend yield is 3.8%. Number 4. Target, Ticker, TGT. In the cutthroat discount retailing world, Target has consistently proven it doesn't have to compete on price to win. For years, it has proven more profitable than its peers, with some of the highest gross margins and operating margins in retailing. At the same time, its focus on increasing its e-commerce business and expanding in-store offerings has kept sales and profits growing at a nice clip. 
With dividend growth at 50 years and counting, dividend investors should put target on their shopping list. Number 3. Lowe's, ticker, LOW. The home improvement giant may not seem like a very exciting stock. And that's true unless you like dividend growth. The company has raised its dividend every year since going public in 1961 and has raised the payout a massive 471% over the past decade alone. Another important number that's good for Lowe's is that the average US home is 37 years old. The next generation of do-it-yourselfers will spend a lot of money at Lowe's. Number 2. The Walt Disney Company, ticker, DIS. There aren't many companies in the media and entertainment space you would normally consider for this sort of list. After all, consumer tastes are fickle, and you never know where the next hit might come from. However, Disney would be the exception that proves the rule. With a firmly established brand, a wide variety of additional media brands under its umbrella, the Disney Plus streaming service and the combined media libraries of Disney and Fox now under its control, Disney's position in the American media landscape appears to be secure enough to survive the shifting sands of consumer tastes. Number 1. United Parcel Service, ticker, UPS. The rise of online retail meant a huge increase in business for parcel delivery, a pattern that the pandemic only strengthened. The trend away from brick-and-mortar retail is a gain for companies like UPS, which looks to be occupying an increasingly lucrative space between consumers and their stores. And of course, UPS was doing just fine with the parcel delivery business before Amazon and the like, so this is one company that appears more than likely to still be chugging along for the long term. Not every stock is worth keeping in your investment portfolio, however our list provides you with solid companies you can have confidence in for the very long haul. Which of these dividend stocks would you like to buy and hold forever? Let us know in the comment box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for the best stocks to buy and latest investment strategies. Thank you for watching.